Welcome everyone to Nisaba Science Club. I'm so happy to see all of you here today. And today we have some very special guest speakers joining us all the way from CERN in Switzerland, who are going to be talking to us about something very interesting, something new, which we haven't done before, which is science journalism. So we'll have some fun activities where you will actually get to maybe think of an interview with a scientist. So let me introduce to you our first guest speaker for today, who is Chetna Krishna. So Chetna is joining us from CERN in Switzerland, and she is the social media manager at CERN. When she was 18 years old, Chetna left mechanical engineering to follow her passion for science communication. She is now pursuing a degree in science communication and bionics in Germany. And she also has experience in reporting science and environmental news on TV. Chetna aims to guide students in India to explore careers where science and social science meet. And she's managing CERN social media channels, creating content and communicating particle physics to millions of followers in really fun and engaging ways. So welcome Chetna, welcome to Nisaba Science Club, and we are very excited to learn from you. Hi Aditi, thank you. Thank you everyone. It's really nice to see so many students on the screen. Thank you for coming on your Sunday afternoon. Um, so as Aditi said, I'm Chetna, and I, my job is mostly to learn about science like you do, with Nisaba Science Club, but then also tell it to more people and tell it in a non-scientific, uh, easy, digestible way. And social media is one way of doing it. So today we will help you, me and my friend Priyanka, who will be joining us soon. We will share with you how you can think of a topic, like let's say dark matter, and how you can identify some stories and maybe just write a nice article on it. I don't know how many of you guys like writing, but I hope after this workshop, you will like to pick up the pen and start writing science. Thank you, Chetna. And our second guest speaker for today, Priyanka has also just joined us. So welcome Priyanka to Nisaba Science Club. And let me introduce you to all our students here. So we have with us our second guest speaker for today, Priyanka Das Gupta. And Priyanka is working as a communications and marketing fellow at CERN. After doing a master's in zoology and another master's in science communication, she is now exploring different ways to take science beyond the laboratories to the people. And she has previously worked as a science communicator on the Science Express project, which is a mobile science exhibit which toured all across India. And Priyanka also loves experimenting with new ways to engage people in science. So we are very happy to have both Priyanka and Chetna here with us today. So over to you, Priyanka and Chetna. Thank you so much, uh, Aditi for introducing us and hello everyone it will be fun today thanks um jetna do you want yeah. to go ahead yeah, yeah. Sorry. priyanka okay so so ever, hello everyone uh, i think um, it has already been introduced chetna already told you about what we will be talking about today so science uh, can be communicated not only through um, through the journals or the articles or the papers you see you, it it can also be uh, communicated through news stories so there are news stories, for example, that uh, Big Bang Theory, some discoveries with Big Bang Theories, and that is a breaking news story, for example. And if there is a news story about COVID discovery or coronavirus discoveries, someone has discovered a new vaccine, people need to know about it, right? 
So who will translate all of the science that is going on in the lab and tell it to a general public in a way that it is understandable? And that is where the journalist or the science communicator comes in. So it is our work to do that. Uh, me and Chetna who work as science communicators at CERN, um, and it cannot just be one form. It's not always writing articles or writing news stories. It can also be uh, some other formats. For example, you see in the parliament or the government where people take important decisions on which vaccine will be made, let's say, for the coronavirus or which uh, important medicine should go into the market. In that case, science uh, communicators do the research and advise these government ministers who can then help decide the policy for us. Or as you see in this picture, uh, in the pictures on the right, it is me uh, in the Royal Society of Chemistry in London, where we are doing a workshop with students visiting from different schools and colleges on how acids and alkalis are made and or what are acids and alkalis. Now, this is another format where there is live interaction with people and you can explain science directly to people. Somewhat what we are doing, like what we are doing today. And the left, Chetna, would you want to explain? Yeah, thank you, Priyanka. This is a very nice example that let's say during COVID people need to read news. So on news channels, you read science stories. And then the job of uh, government politicians is to take it to the parliament policy to actually implement how we can fight COVID. But here the job is of science communicators to bridge the gap between scientists and parliament or policy. Another aspect is social media. So I don't know how many of your parents allow you to be on social media, but uh, uh, as you see here, for lots of organizations like NASA, CERN, ESA, European Space Agency, uh, lots of people follow them online. And it's, it's the job of science communicators to think of easy ways to talk to scientists and bring it to lots of people following these organizations online. Another format is uh, uh, writing articles. And uh, Priyanka, would you like to uh, uh, yeah, tell I more can, about I can talk about this, this one. Yeah, so the, on the right side, you see many yellow graphics and two people uh, with money. So this was a way we were doing science magazines. So there are also this format of not just news about science, but also talking about different aspects of science. And this is the iScience magazine, which I was the editor of in Imperial College. And it talked about how science deals with money, power, politics, and more. And on the left, we have some interesting articles, Chetna. Yeah, so as Aditi mentioned earlier, I was helping uh, environmental and Asian news on TV, on online websites, apps. So this is one article about CERN. And then this is one article uh, during COVID, how people are more interested in buying secondhand items. And when we start buying secondhand items, we start reusing available resources. So we are going towards a circular, more sustainable environment. Then writing articles is the focus of today's workshop, but we would quickly like to also mention where your words can make a difference. You can write articles, but you can also write science scripts. And nowadays podcast, are a very popular medium. Maybe uh, not for 
the time when I was in my fifth or sixth class, but now I love podcast. So Living Planet is like a Discovery Channel award-winning a podcast. And before actually talking, scientists and science communicators need to write the episode. The CERN Sparks podcast talks about artificial intelligence, and then also we need to write. Um, and Priyanka, walk us through some other formats. And the other quick formats is, how many of you have heard of Discovery Channel or Nat Geo? Have you heard of that? And so stuff, uh, the people working on the science behind uh, those documentaries or the, uh, the experiments that go on in Discovery Science, for example, they also are science communicators, but in a video format. And then on the top left, there is something called Fame Lab, which is a format of going on stage there with your science and explaining it very quickly in three minutes, let's say, but in the form of dance, by making, by singing a song, maybe someone could do a rap about chemical chemistry. And those are different formats you can take on. Uh, but uh, now I think, Chetna, we should move on to the main event yeah. of the day. <laughs> awesome. Yes. So activity. So what are we going to do today? Today, we are all going to be journalists. We are all going to take out our pens and notepads and interview a scientist. Now, this scientist will be a character we give you. And we will tell you how you can think like a journalist, think like a science communicator. And then we will, you can make your own news article. So let's start, Chetna. Okay. okay. So Aditi, from now, I think some we can go into different rooms. And some of you will come with me and some of you will go with Chetna and we will walk you through on how we can do the article. All right. Now we go to our activity. So who can you see on the screen right now? Dr. Power and Dr. Bold. Very good. Dr. Power and Dr. Bold. Now these are your scientists who are working behind the lab and Dr. Power is working in a company called Global Labs, where she studies viruses. So for example, right now we are all in a situation where there is a viral pandemic. A coronavirus is causing a disease. But to stop that disease, someone who knows how to do that will be a scientist who studies that disease and can work to stop it. So Dr. Dr. Power is such a doctor. She studies these viruses, shows she can prevent these diseases. And she has developed a COVID test. And Dr. Bold is a scientist working in an antimatter factory. Now, antimatter factory is, is a area for physics scientists. And they study about particles and matter and the universe. And he's studying how we came into being, how the Earth, uh, Earth started being, or how the stars came into existence. Now, we have to interview one of them on how they're working or what they're working on. So now we go into the journalist mode. What questions can we ask? And an easy way to ask questions is always think about five different aspects of the story. So who, what, when, where, and why. So why or how could be that, why are you discovering the, why are you working on this? Or how did you discover this? And it can be things like, so who? For example, in the Dr. Power mode, when we were uh, interviewing Dr. Power, let's say. So what will, what can our who question be? Our who question can be, who is Dr. Power? Dr. Power is someone who works on viruses, for example. Then what? So what has she discovered? What has Dr. Power um, made a new innovation or what is our story? And the story will be that she has developed a new COVID test 
when and then when and where are to give it more information how to fill your news story what gave you idea what gave you idea to exactly develop a covid test exactly so that can be go in that can be a question under what that can also be a very fun uh, way to fill your article right uh, and then why and how so why will be as i said why did you start working in um, uh, in viruses as as someone said what gave you the idea so this can also go in why did you start working on it or how how did you finally make the covid test so all of these questions actually, and then who hmm? who uh, who question can also be yes who question who was your who was your inspiration very good that can also be qu that question so uh, very good so these these questions are just a small uh, prompt a small guidance and then as you see you can develop new questions from that it can be who are you or who gave you inspiration what are you working on or what do you want to work on after this and it can be different questions the thing is when we are writing an article sometimes we or an essay you must have an option to or a exercise to write essays in exam right do you have uh, options to write uh, essays in exams give me a thumbs up if you can or Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. So in the essay, sometimes we think, okay, we have to write two hundred word essay or one hundred word essay. But sometimes we forget what we can write about, right? That okay, we I have written the first sentence, the second sentence, but then what should I write about in the third and fourth? So these questions, every time you want to write about something, be it an essay or an article, think about have you covered these questions. ask these questions and then the answer can help you make your article so everyone is clear on that because now we will go to the activity where you will interview the one of them and i will give you 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes we will see if everyone is ready we can start earlier so for first is meenal dakave bhosle and she is a virologist and she works in my labs and her team she was the leader of a team that developed a test kit to detect whether someone has covid or not and the test was only for 6 to 7 hours this is very quick uh, in respect to what was there which was it was taking a lot of time to tell if someone has covid but she developed a kit that could tell if someone has covid or not in Six hours, and she was one scientist. She is one scientist. The other scientist is Michael Dozer, and he is like our Doctor Bold, who is studying antimatter, who is studying physics, um, and he is searching for an explanation of the matter antimatter. Now I know these words can sound difficult, but that's why we have our questions. So if something is difficult, you can ask, "What does this mean?" and then you will have in your article to the time to explain okay now i need to have a paragraph that explains what this means so the questions are your let's say cheat sheet the questions are the way you will know what you should write in your article everyone is clear on this okay very good so i will start the 10 minutes now and in the 10 minutes you will ask five questions to one of them to either meenal or michael you will ask five questions and then we come back and i will ask who has written what i will uh, you can share those questions all right so your time starts now apriyaka if you want you can go to slide show mode so that it's yeah. in full screen ah uh, yes sure for sure hmm Actually, we have to do. Okay, so I can explain again. So one second. So these people, so either Meenal or Michael, uh, or Michael, you have to ask five questions to them. So it can be that, uh, who are who is Meenal? 
or where is she working? How did she develop a test kit? So the questions that I show, either who, when, where, how, what, to either Meenal or Michael. You don't have to do to both. Okay. Is it clear or I can again explain? Okay, An Anvita, you have a question? Yes. Yes, Anvita. You can unmute yourself and ask. Ma'am. Yes. No, ma'am, by mistake. Ah, okay, no it. problem, no problem. Manya, you have a question? Yes, go on, unmute yourself and ask. Ma'am, uh... I can explain again. So, what you have to do? You have to, you have to, uh, you, have scientists you, have, you have Menal on the left and Michael on the right. And now you have to ask them five questions because you are a journalist. You have to interview these scientists. What these scientists have done, I have written a few lines. So, Menal has is working as a virologist um, uh, and she, virologist means someone who is studying viruses. And she has this, she's uh, the leader of a team that has detected COVID, that has developed a kit to detect COVID. And Michael is a physicist who works at CERN and is studying the discovery of atoms or the starting of the universe. And now you have to interview one of them. Choose any one and then ask them five questions. So the five questions can be who, what, when, why. What slide did you see? What do you Did you see the previous slide about the no, questions? No. Okay. So I think we can go quickly to what the questions were. So you can ask them five types of questions. You can ask them who is she or who uh, who inspired them as someone said what then when where and how so who is the person so when you are writing an article you have to think of angles and think of questions so that you know what to write in your article so the different questions you can ask is who the person is what the person is doing when did they do it where did they do it or where did they work and why? How did they make that thing happen? How did the person discover a test? All right. And now I will go back to the slides. Uh, I see some other people have questions. Sakshi, you have a question? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes. We have to write the question in our book. And yes, we will tell you the answer. exactly. So right now in this 10 minutes, you just write in your book or write in your copy or notebook. Yes. One second. And can we also take questions related to whom? Yes, yes, you can do that. Yes. Sakshi, you were saying something. Continue if you want. Matter, antimatter, asymmetry. Yes. So don't worry about that. I know it's a bit confusing. Matter, antimatter, and asymmetry. So if there is something you don't know when you're interviewing a scientist, because sometimes scientists work on big things that are too difficult for everyone to understand. Then you ask them the question, what is antimatter? So one of your questions can be, what is antimatter and matter, right? And uh, just ask the questions. Right now, you only have to ask the questions. That is the job of the journalist. That if the audience doesn't understand anything, we have to ask the scientists, you have to tell the scientists that, yes, you're using these big words and big letters and big concepts, but we don't understand. So you have to tell us how. And so the so that's why we take questions. We will ask them questions. Uh, Shubh, you have a question? Ma'am, what is the meaning of CERN? CERN is the name of a place. It's the name of a physics, um, physics, uh, uh, let's say, organization or a physics institute. So it's just the name of a place. Okay. So if you're saying, where does uh, Michael work? Michael works at CERN. So that means. Yes. Uh, no. Ma'am, it means you are related to Dr. Bo. Uh, the, I, your voice cut out, but what were you saying? Yes. 
Ma'am, it means you are related to Dr. Bold. Yes, I am related to Dr. Bold. My other name is Dr. Strange. How many people have you watched, uh, watched the Dr. Strange movie? Ma'am, I. You have? So, yes, that is me. No, I'm just kidding. Many different, so in a big institute, many different physicists, scientists, and everyone works together. So I also work at CERN, but uh, there are many people who work on different things there. Uh, so now you have to write the questions. Now stop talking to me and write the questions, and then we talk again to me, me all right? But um, yeah, okay. I will give you three more minutes, maybe. And if everyone is ready, we can start discussing. You have three more minutes. Did you have a question, Sharia? Yes, ma'am. Do we also have to write the answers? No, you don't have to write the answers. Right now, our job is only to ask the questions. Oops, sorry. Okay, maybe we can start already. Do, do, does anyone need more time to write or we can start? If someone needs more time, just uh, tell me. Unmute yourself and tell me, but otherwise we'll start, okay? All right, seems like everyone is ready. So, does anyone want to share their uh, five questions first? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Anvita. Uh, so if someone wants to, you just raise your hand and then I will come and ask you, okay? Uh, so we go one by one. So first, Anvita, you can go. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to your favorite news channel and welcome to your favorite show, Interview Master. Today we, we, we are with Dr. Minal Dhakev Bosley, who is a famous virologist. Virologist means a person who studies viruses. So today we are going to take an interview from Dr. Minal Dhakev Bosley. So let's start. Ma'am, who was your inspiration? Very good. So what I'm going to do, because Anvita, you have started a show. So I can be Meenal in this case. 
Hello everyone, I am Meena and my inspiration was the other scientists working uh, alongside me in my team, everyone who is so dedicated and they inspired me to become a better scientist. Yes, what's your second Thank question? Thank you ma'am for sharing. The second question is, how do you take the precautions when you are working with these types of viruses and infections that you prevent you from being a prey of them? Very good question, Ananya. Yes, it is very important that we protect ourselves as well. So before working, before going into the lab, we wear full protection kit, the full PPE personal protection kit so that we don't get infected with the virus. Okay. Whom do you dedicate? I think, uh, Anvita, your voice got muted. Could you say again? To whom do you dedicate this COVID test kit? To whom do I dedicate this COVID test? I dedicate this COVID test to my family, to my teammates, and to all the people whose little, little research has joined so that I could help make this one possible. All right. Uh, I think, Anvita, that's a very good why interview. You, no, why you them. thought, why you thought that we can make a kit that is based on less time and that will be more useful? Or is there any other way also? There are other ways, but why we need quick test is so that we can quickly stop the spread of coronavirus. And this, I think we will take the last question, Anvita, because very good. Um, I know you must have done other questions also. Very good questions. Now we will Thank go you, to Mandy, other, so other. nice to meet with you. It was very nice to meet with you as well. But right now we will go to other students as well. And then we can practice more. You can also write to me separately or anyone can write to me separately if you want to talk about how you can do more science journalism or how you can develop these skills. So right now we go to Shubh Gupta. Shubh, you want to share your questions? And yes. Okay, so you can just say the questions because I think we will not have too much time to do question and then I answer. Just ask the questions that you have prepared. Ma'am, please tell me, who inspired you to discover it? Very good. So, uh, sure, very good. That's a good question. I am, um, so just to save time, you can just list the questions right now. Because every time if we do a proper interview, it will take some time, no? Just tell me what questions you have. So, Second. one is very good. Who inspired you? Next yes. is? Making this discovery successful. So the your question is, can you repeat that one again? Yes, ma'am. How you are feeling after making this discovery successful? Very good. Another question. What you have discovered? What you have discovered, a very important part of your article. Very good. Next. Where you had work. Where you had work. Okay, next. What precaution we should take after taking vaccine? vaccine? Vaccine. Very good. Very good. So these are your five questions. Very good. What precaution should you take? Very good. So these are again different kinds of questions, but these are nice questions because you see how your story changes by the questions you ask. Um, we will take one, one or two more examples, let's say, and then I will talk about changing your story. So, Dhruti, uh, Dhruti, you want to go? Yes, ma'am. Yes, tell me the question. I want to ask uh, Meenal. Yes. How did you get the idea to make, co make, a, make COVID-19 test faster? Okay, very good. Next question. Who inspired you to make COVID test faster. Very good. Who inspired? And next. Where were you born? Where were you born? Yes. Very nice. Next. Who were your parents? 
Okay, that's an interesting angle. Yes, and last. Where, where, where did you make it? Where did you make it? Very good. All right. So these are your five questions. Uh, now we go to Anaya. Thank you, Druti. Anaya, do you want to share your five questions? Yes, ma'am. Yes, go on. When did you start researching on this? When did you start? And uh, Anaya, uh, we will take three questions because we don't have too much time, okay? So just three questions. Three, which one is it? When did you start? And next? Uh, what exactly is virologist? Very good. That's a good question. And next? What inspired you to become a virologist? Very good. So three questions, three very nice questions from you, Anaya. Thank you. And last, we have Sakshi. Sakshi, do you want to share? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, who was your inspiration? Yes. Next. Uh, what is the meaning of virologist? Yes, very good. And how did how did you discover it? How did you discover it? Very good. We will also just take five, uh, three questions, and then give uh, someone else a chance. Thank you, Tanvi. Quickly, you want to say your three questions? Yes, teacher. Uh, what, who was your inspiration? Yes. How did you develop the test kit in six to seven hours? Yes. And why did you uh, take the subject of science? Oh, very nice. Uh, thank you, Tanvi. That's a different angle. So right now we will stop at this because now I also have to explain what I want to do with these questions, right? Um, so, but we can always keep practicing more. So, Guni, Manya, sorry, but uh, we will take the questions later maybe, or you can send me your questions or you can share these questions on the Nisaba website and uh, share with others what things you have thought. Okay, so now I go to what we do with these questions, right? So these questions, so as you see, as you saw with the same words, with the same uh, prompting words of who, when, what, why, when, and how, many different people had many different questions. For example, Anvita started with what inspired you or who inspired you or what precaution you should take. Then Dhruti uh, introduced a new thing of where were you born? So that is a story about where you come from. And then Anaya did, what is a virologist? We are talking about how did you protect someone or how did you, what inspired you? But tell me first, what is the virologist, right? And then finally, I think Tanvi also said, why did you choose this subject? So all of these questions you see, in they give a different angle to a story. And that will make the major story of what we are covering. In a new story, that is what is different from an essay. In an essay, you will cover everything. But in a new story, you will cover the most important thing or what you want your story to be about. If I talk, if I want to make, uh, if I have an article to write of 400 words, let's say. Out of these 400 words, 300, 200 words should be my main story. And the next 200 should be all the other questions, where, what, when, why, how. So if my story, if the story that I want to say is that, who were you, uh, so, so what is a virologist? And that will be 200 words. I will talk mainly about what is a virologist and how does a virologist work in an office, everything. And the rest 200 will only be an introduction or a conclusion. If I want to talk about um, why did you choose this subject? So that will be the main angle of the story. Our main story seller, movie ka plot, movie, agar ek love story, koi jase, which is the latest movie right now going on? Let's say um, Spider-Man. How many of you know Spider-Man? Uh, yes, everyone knows Spider-Man. Very good. So the Spider-Man, the movie is two hours long. There is a lot going on in the movie. He's jumping bridges. He's defeating villains. But the angle, angle is that Spider-Man is a 
normal boy who turns into a superhero and then saves everyone from villains that is the angle if the angle would have been let's go and find out who spider man's parents were that would have been a different story but in a uh, but here the main story is that spider man is fighting villains and the hook the hook will come from what your main story is you can ask five different questions six different questions in your story in your interview as every one of you did you had many good questions but then what will be the headline of your story the headline will be virologist from maharashtra let's say makes makes new discovery or let's say um, if your main story is that uh, what is a virologist so your headline could be virologists are making the world a safe place something like that okay now someone wants to come up with some example we have not much time we have 3 minutes only so someone wants to come up with a headline for their article or for the questions they have manya do, do you want to go do you have a headline or is your hand raised already Un unmute yourself yes mom yes. already ma'am so tell me for one one second one second let manya finish and then we will come to you okay so manya quickly tell me ma'am i have a question only okay anvita just 2 minutes we did no, not 2 minutes but 20 seconds let manya say and then i come back to you okay Yes, ma'am. I would like to uh, tell questions. Ah, questions. No questions. Then, uh, uh, then we keep it because the questions we can discuss later. So, as okay. is it clear to everyone that when we are asking questions, we are actually making our news article. We are making what we will fill in our news article. Anvita, you you had a question. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, your voice was disconnected in between so i want to ask that after the interview activity are we doing another activity now no 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 we are not doing another activity but we are quickly saying that out of those questions that you made the most important question or you can choose one question which will be the angle of your story which will be the main story of your article and you can focus most of your content on that and i was saying that the angle will then decide the hook or the headline. Yes, Sakshi, you had a question. Ma'am, I want to say the answer. Okay, the answer to the question or the headline? From the headline. Yes, tell me a headline. What is virologist? Very good. But yes, that can be the headline of a story because the headline has to be short and can give away everything about what the story is going to be about. So that's a good deadline. If anyone else wants to try, we have 30 yes. seconds. Ma'am, can I try? Headline. Yes, yes, then we go. Uh, a jal I have a, a good headline. One minute, one minute. Don't speak over each other, Gunni. Just wait a minute. Then we quickly go and then we give Gunni a chance to say. Journalist from my labs. Journal, journalist from my labs very good so this tells me that what i'm going to read is more of a story of the journalist very good now guni yes go the word saver minal dakhave posle very good the word saver minal dakhave posle so i already know from the headline that she is someone who has done something to save the world so it is related to a solution so I can already know by the headline. Very good. So now, um, no, yes, anyone else has? Go and mute yourself. We also say. can make it, what is anti-atom? Yes, what, what is anti-atom? So this can be, and this is can be a very interesting thing because normally even I might not, I work at CERN, but sometimes the topics are so confusing. I will be, oh, but what is anti-atoms? I hear it every time, but I don't know. So these uh, so this is how you can uh, find out but now i think we can go to the main uh, main screen all right uh, and then we will discuss there 
So is the activity clear to everyone? Yes, what we did, what we did. So whenever you have to write an article or a newspaper, news media, the way you know that you will have interesting questions is to make these five questions and you may have more questions. Always make these questions and then select the main five. Select the five that you think give it more angles or more diversity. And then keep those five because then it will help you make the interview interesting to read. All right. And as I said, after the questions, you can decide the angle. Choose the best story. Choose the thing. Uh, choose the best question to make your angle. And then based on that angle, you can think of a hook, the headline. So if you want, you can already leave the breakout room. There must be a pop-up on your screen. Leave the breakout room. You, you can leave the breakout room and go to the main room. All right. And we can see each other there and discuss if needed. Yes, Aditi, it was really nice. I think uh, students had really interesting questions. And then uh, I, I helped them in thinking of those questions and how you can con convert it into an article or a news story. And I was also telling them that sometimes you think it's an excellent story, but your job is to convince your boss and in real life, your editor who doesn't think it might be an interesting story. So you have to think that it's relevant. Why now? Why do you want to talk about the story now? And yes, but students are very intelligent already. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun and a lot of people had many interesting questions. Nice. Okay, I think everyone is back to the main room. So we still have a couple of minutes left so if any of you have any questions for chetna or priyanka you can type your name in the chat and we'll invite you to ask your question so we have a question from manya ma'am i have a question to priyanka ma'am yes manya go Aditi, do you want to help? I think there is a. Uh, so, what I was suggesting them was that if someone wants to share the five questions, so many students came up with very nice questions, including you, Manya. So, they wanted to share these questions somehow or send it to me. So to me, I am putting my email in the chat um, and you can write to me there. But for the Nisaba app, I think there is also a way to share on, uh, yes. on the platform, right? Yeah. So if you go to the course from where you joined today's uh, workshop, there will be a place called course discussions. And there you can post your questions, your headline, anything else that you like. Uh, we can have a discussion there. So any other questions? Everyone has I've been asking questions already. So everyone is a journalist <laughs> mode now. Um, oh, that's wonderful. Oh, good. That's good. That's good if everyone is um, happy with their questions. Very good. So do you want to, how much time do we have left, Aditi? So we have just uh, hit four o'clock. Ah. Um, so, you know, we can take one or two more minutes uh, if you guys want to sum up what we've done. Chetna, do you want to have uh, a go at summing up? Or uh, for me, it was very fun. It was really nice to meet all of you. It was really nice to have your questions. So as you remember, the questions will help us get the answers for the article we are writing, right? Because whenever we have interesting questions, it is the questions that people will also want to know about. And you have a breaking news story on your hand. Uh, sorry, we are just getting one or two last minute questions. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, bring them, yes. on. bring them on. So we have a question from Vanya. Yes. So I would like to ask to Chetna, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, uh, have you ever interviewed anyone? Yes, I uh, interviewed lots of people, 
but maybe my favorite interview was with a scientist from NASA and he was in the US, I was in Europe. So it was via phone and it was for a podcast. I was very nervous. And I was nervous that I won't understand his English because he has a em heavy American accent, but he was very nice. And as uh, someone from your time, uh, group said, what do scientists like to do in their free time? Questions like that. So, And I have one more question. Like uh, you said uh, that we have to, or uh, sometimes our editor, uh, does not allow us to uh, keep that story in the news. So has it ever happened uh, with you? So uh, editor is not the enemy, but they, they really want you to make your story flashy, that people actually try to read it. So I have to make changes, go back and think what my editor would like. So yes, this happens many times. And how do you convince them? If then, you think your story is uh, like the best and yeah. uh, they are just not allowing you then also, so. Then I find interesting characters, characters that they can't refuse. Someone like Shah Rukh Khan, but maybe a scientist. So yes, uh, it, it helps. Thank you, ma'am. That was end of my questions. Thank you. Uh, we also have a question from Mithul and Bhavika. Ma'am, what is the story of matter and antimatter? Yes, ma'am. So, um, Dr. Bolt or Michael Dozer uh, in Antimatter Factory at CERN is uh, working on it in answering that question but lots of other experiments are also working on it. They are now trying to find out how gravity affects antimatter. If you throw an apple, it falls. Would it be the same with an anti-apple? How would an anti-apple react in gravity? So we don't have the answer yet, but we are trying to see gravity and stuff. Hopefully one day you can come to CERN and ask this question yourself. I, okay. I sorry I was muted but Mithul uh, and Bhavika I also sent you a link um, on the chat if you want to discover you can read about it more on how the research is being done thank you ma'am thank you ma'am Sakshi do you have a question yes uh, let me just unmute Sakshi um, I have a question to Priyanka ma'am ma what is virology Virologist, we talked, so uh, virologist is someone who studies viruses, as uh, we were saying that when you, so for example, right now, we all are living in a pandemic caused by viruses, caused by a viral disease. So a virologist, for example, will study these viruses to try and find out how we can stop these diseases. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And we also have a question from Subhan. Ma'am, my question is for Chetra, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, my first question is, who is physicist? And my second question is, what are anti-atoms? So these are questions you should ask Dr. Bolt. I am the writer, but... Uh, so as these are, are like physicists, in plain words, someone who studies physics, right? But what does it mean in real life? And physics is broad. It includes so many things. So yeah, that in itself could be the topic of a storyline. What does a physicist do exactly? And anti-atoms is basically the opposite of atoms, the opposite of us. And, and these, so you should read more about what Priyanka was mentioning, I guess. Priyanka, it's better if you send that in the general group. I think the topic is just so fascinating. Um, if um, Aditi, yes, once we are done with questions, I had a quick comment. Yes, 
but of course i i think we are done with questions so thank you all of you for your wonderful questions and now we can hear some final comments from chetna um first thank you everyone for participating brilliant questions and i love the energy um second after you go back from this workshop if you would still like to write your article please do that and like hindustan times times of india they all have like an editorial page and they have a students section so when you open the newspaper somewhere in the corner you should be able to find an email address or on the website you all have laptops right now i guess because you are joining and connecting with me so google and you can really share your stories and publish them as a student so try doing that that's a great idea chetna and i really encourage all of you to do this because science is so much fun and all of you love science so wouldn't it be great to write about science as well uh, so with that we come to an end of today's workshop uh, let's thank our guest speakers for creating such a wonderful activity for us today i'm sure we all learned a lot from it and we hope to see them back sometime in the future and thank you to all of you students for joining us and bringing your energy to this workshop